In a word, they are three. It was the Liberal government of William Lyon Mackenzie King that passed what became known as the Chinese Exclusion Act, an act that came into force on July the 1st, 1923. Many Chinese took to calling the 1st of July Humiliation Day. The law banned any Chinese person from coming into Canada and required all Chinese people already in the country to register with the federal government or face fines, jail, or even deportation. The Chinese Immigration Act, or better known as the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1923, had a dramatic and devastating impact on Chinese immigrants and their communities inside and outside of Canada. That law would stay on the books for 24 years until 1947. Even then, Canada put restrictions on immigration from China, restrictions not fully removed, until 1967. Senator Yuan Ba Wu worries that a foreign agent registry proposed last week by the Trudeau government will set up a new foreign influence transparency registry in Canada. Could be a modern version of that exclusion act. I would like to think that even advocates of a registry would agree with me that it should not be one that stigmatizes or alienates any particular community. Minister Manichino. The government is taking advice until May the 9th on how best to create such a registry. We may need new laws to deal with covert, to deal with coercive and corrupt activities, and the registry may well help us in that direction. For its part, the Trudeau government says it is sensitive to the idea that a foreign agent registry might be seen to be targeting or stigmatizing a particular ethnic community. But the Prime Minister and his cabinet also feel that a registry of those paid by foreign governments is an important tool to combat interference in Canada's affairs. Donna. Okay, David Aiken in snowy Ottawa, thanks.